Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look for all possible eigenvalues of an idempotent matrix. Remember what it means for a matrix to be idempotent. First of all, the matrix A is idempotent if it's square and if you multiply it by itself, A squared is equal to A. So it has to be an n by n matrix and a squared, a times a, is equal to a. So now, okay, we're looking for the, all, all the eigenvalues. So let's say lambda is an eigenvalue. So a times some vector x is equal to lambda times x for some non-zero vector x. x is any vector except the zero vector. Now all we know is that a squared is equal to a, so we might as well multiply both sides of our equation by a and see what happens. So on the left we get a times a times x. On the right we get a times lambda times x. On the left we can rewrite that as a squared times x on, on the left, and on the right um, using properties of matrix multiplication and scalar multiplication, we can pull sca the scalar out and call that lambda times a times x. Now on the left we have an a squared, so we can just write that as a times x. On the right, notice we have an a times x, so we can call that lambda times lambda x. Well, notice on the right, we, I mean on the left, we also have an a times x. So that's also a lambda x. So now we have lambda x is equal to lambda squared times x. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what lambda is. Let's get everything on one side of the equation. So I can write lambda squared x minus lambda x is the zero vector. And now on the left side, I can factor the vector x out, and I can call, can call that lambda squared minus lambda times the vector x using properties of scalar multiplication of matrices. Okay, so now we have a scalar, lambda squared minus lambda, times a non-zero vector x, and it's equal to the zero vector. Now we had a theorem a while ago that said when you have a scalar times a vector and that product is equal to the zero vector, then either the scalar is zero or the vector is the zero vector. Well, we know x can't be the zero vector because it's an eigenvector. So we must have that that scalar is zero. So lambda squared minus lambda is the scalar zero. All right, if we factor the left side, we get lambda times lambda minus 1 is equal to 0, and the only two solutions are lambda equals 0 and lambda equals positive 1. So those are the two, only two, possible eigenvalues of an idempotent matrix. Alright, so I'll see you in some other video.